an Aussie company with a great product. That's Espresso and the Espresso display. We looked at the original last year and now the second generation, I think learns a lot from what they heard from users and takes portable simplistic displays to the next level. I mean, the display itself is literally in this box. This is all you need for the espresso display. And this is what it looks like when you set up. Now I'm sitting here at the coffee table, but obviously you could be at a cafe, you could be at a meeting, you could be sitting at someone else's desk and use your laptop to control what you're doing, but then actually have a display operating somewhere else. You know, it could be pointing at, I've, I've sat this uh, with someone else sitting across from me so that I could show them uh, what I was working on, share my screen without having to do a whole presentation up onto a projector. But more importantly, in a work from home environment, it means you can sit at the kitchen table, the dining table, wherever you are, and just set up with a, a more familiar user experience because so many of us now are used to having multiple displays on our computers. So you're looking at $529 up to seven, nearly $800, right? It's an expensive display. Straight out of the box, you have to accept that. But it's just so advanced. There's no power. There's just the one cable here between my MacBook in this case and the Espresso display. It's sitting magnetically on this mount, which is an optional accessory, uh, but I would highly recommend it. The other option is the kind of folio case, which is good for protection, but also a nice little uh, pop-up stand. But just sim simply gently sits there and you can orient it in any direction as well. And the cool thing about the Espresso display is that it will reorient the screen automatically. Look at that, on a Mac, it's just reoriented the screen, which is just unbelievable that it can do that instantly. Now, in part, that's because instead of with the original Espresso display, they had software that you could use that would enable it for touch on Mac. It wasn't amazing. But now they've got this software called Espresso Flow. And I think the cool thing about that software is it shows you what's going on instantly. It talks you through how to use it and it enables a lot of the functionality like touchscreen. So here I'm just scrolling through Twitter with two fingers. Now I can use uh, four fingers to switch between screens. Um, there's a whole range of things you can do. I'm gonna put it back in uh, normal uh, landscape mode. And you see it just turns itself off and back on again there. So I've got this in full screen and if I swipe, I can swipe between my workspaces. Now the other critical thing that I was a little bit critical of uh, in the last one was color control and whether or not it was truly representative of the colors that you would want and expect from your screen. So in this one, we can now swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the display and we bring up some menus like brightness, volume, and also a full color balance. So you can go into gaming mode, uh, nighttime mode, or you can create your own mode as well. And you've got a, a really simple slider for a kind of uh, color correction. Very, very easy to use. It means that I'm not getting this disparity between the two displays in terms of color. And it's just so good. Now, obviously there's, uh, there's also a pen you can use, a stylus. There's a lot of people use these you know, for, uh, for artwork and drawing and things like that. But I think the main use for this is definitely the, I'm going away, I'm gonna set up in a hotel room for three days and I'm gonna to need to work. The price is high, I'll say that again, but just look at what you're getting, okay? Look at that. It's so thin and it's so light. So the key thing for me here about the Espresso display is amazing quality screen, it's beautiful. Um, you do get some functionality, so touch screen. So I'm, I'm operating here, um, it's flicking around. You wouldn't normally hold it in your hand. I'm operating this one with a touch screen with, with great ease and there's no weirdness about that on a Mac. But I think the, the important thing I need to say is that it's not, it's not uh, a really simple flow. There's, there's a clear, you've got to impress two fingers upon it. And essentially the scroll is actually moving faster than my fingers. So it's not, it feels like there's a disconnect between my fingers and the actual scrolling, but you get used to it very, very quickly. So no real issues with that. Um, and frankly, the fact that it's touchscreen alone is fantastic. But the real benefit of the Espresso display is nothing more than portability. So let's say we're finished at the cafe. One cable from laptop to the machine. So this is what I've got. I've got one cable, one laptop, and one stand. 
and when I take my bag, I can simply put that straight in my bag, or the smart thing is to use the espresso case and so that you're getting some protection for it as well. So this case magnetically attaches on top and then we can just fold it over onto here. So that is now a nice and protected screen. I can put that straight into the laptop component of my backpack, put my laptop in there as well, my cable and my stand and we are good to go. The portability of taking a second screen on a trip with you, it doesn't come any better than that. I love what it is, I struggle with the price, but I can imagine people shelling out for it because if you travel a lot, that means you know, whatever sort of work you're doing, video editing or just office work, you've got that with you, you've got your normal workshop environment. It's fantastic. Aussie company Espresso Display, available now, the Espresso Display 2. Comes in a couple of different sizes. There's a 13 inch non-touchscreen, there's a 13 inch touchscreen, and there's a 15 inch touchscreen as well. Easy to use, simple to set up, price is the only barrier.